Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to do a quick response to that video because that can be a really scary thing to see. Um, so what is benign acute childhood myositis? Well, in essence, it's a type of viral myositis. And what do I mean by that? Well, in medicine, itis usually means inflammation or maybe breakdown, and myo, in this case, means muscles. So this is when you have breakdown or inflammation of the muscle fibers themselves. Most commonly associated with influenza A and B, and then enteroviruses can also cause it sometimes. There's a wide spectrum of how bad this can be, but in general, it's self-limited. There's some muscle eggs, we call myalgias, some weakness, maybe a little muscle swelling that gets better. Um, if you have mild disease, then all you really have to do is treat with Tylenol and ibuprofen and wait for it to run its course. But as in this case, if you have severe disease where there's really bad weakness, refusal to walk, or, or severe muscle swelling, then you're worried about a complication that we call rhabdomyolysis. And so this is what the video was referring to with that elevated CK. When you have rhabdomyolysis, basically there's a breakdown in the muscles. and so protein, like, like this thing called myoglobin, gets released and it can actually go to the kidney and cause deposits, which leads to kidney injury. The CK is an enzyme commonly found in muscles and when that gets really high, that tells us that there's a lot of diffuse breakdown of the muscle throughout the body and it's a problem. Um, so a normal level of CK is really less than like 250 in kids, maybe 500. Um, anything over 5,000 is quite elevated. And so for the child in the video, 13,000 is very high. What do we do about it? Well, basically we just give IV fluids at two times the normal rate that we would give them. So we flush the body out to prevent that myoglobin from forming deposits in the kidney so it can't cause kidney damage. It's a really good prognosis, but you have to identify it early. The last thing I wanna say, and this is most critical, um, if you notice your child's urine is a dark color, um, so starting to have some pigment or, or maybe Coca-Cola colored, it's a really important time to go to your doctor uh, because that often is a sign that there's actually myoglobin in the urine, um, so you wanna get them evaluated.